Hey YouTube, it's Ashley and you're watching The Substance Project. Today's topic is on women in technology and specifically we'll be sharing some secrets of Silicon Valley. So this is a topic that has recently become a bit of a passion point for me. Um, I was blessed with my first daughter and that really changed my perspective on, you know, how am I going to encourage her to explore careers and what careers do I wish I would have explored and engineering is definitely one of them. Another reason I've sort of morphed my focus on this area is I volunteered at an awesome event called Made with Code. If you haven't checked it out, you definitely should. It's amazing. And just in a couple hours um, with these Detroit-based schoolgirls, I really had a wonderful um, education experience myself and learned so much more about computer science than I ever knew. I um, started to see all of the creative possibilities around coding. You can, you can make music with code. You can make new technologies with code. Of course, we see entrepreneurs left and right making mobile apps and becoming really successful off of them. But more importantly, I just saw the possibility in this, these girls' eyes. Um, they were so inspired and they realized that with a little bit of work, they could create something from nothing. And that was so cool. Total side note, because of that volunteer experience, um, I actually made a New Year's resolution to build an Android app. So there, I've said it publicly. Please hold me to it. Leave me advice if you have any below. So hi, Tessa. I volunteered at this awesome program. And, and then fellow Substance Project boss lady, Lauren, landed a gig at a tech startup in the heart of San Francisco. How amazing. So because of these three things, I really changed my perspective on the industry. And I'm, I'm a lot more interested in it now. It means a lot more to me. The fact remains that the statistics of women in this industry are abysmal. Only 26% of the workforce is female, but only 18% of the undergrad computer science degrees go to females. That's actually down from 1985 when the percentage was 37%. Like, how is that possible? Tech is so much more interesting, so much cooler now than it was. Anyways, long story short, wanted to share these five secrets with you. Um, these are coming from an awesome magazine in Glamour. I definitely recommend you check it out and we'll link below. So first of all, there's no job shortage in the Valley. I think there's a ton of press recently of recent college grads being unemployed or underemployed and not being able to find work that sort of is um, in align with their skill set. Well, that's not the case in computer science. An Uber engineer is quoted saying that she received 30 offers once she moved out there. And a Canadian engineer actually explains that she received two job offers in just three months, despite the fact that she had no connections and she was Canadian. So that's a little bit of a challenge for some companies. Beyond that, secret number two is that the pay and the perks are insane. Oh, Being so at Google, I can definitely speak to those perks. Out. At our headquarters, we have everything on campus that you could possibly imagine from you know, your basic needs. There is food galore. I think there's around 13 restaurants to choose from, not to mention a micro kitchen with snacks and beverages within like 150 feet of anyone's desk. But there's um, also doctors, there's hairstylists, there's massages. There's volleyball courts, there are swimming pools, there are Zumba classes, there are yoga classes, there are other ballroom dance classes. Want to do something different? You can probably get a class arranged for it. Dry cleaning, um, laundry machines with free detergent so that you can do your own laundry if you prefer. I mean, it's bananas. And the pay for a software engineer can start at six figures. That's incredible. That's more than double what I made right out of college with Google. So this is no joke. Um, a 34 year old engineer from Microsoft talked about how she has a beautiful apartment. She goes on exotic vacations six times a year and she's able to bring her mother to London on business class and stay in the nicest hotel in the city on her salary. So definitely worth considering. Tip number three, I love the way that they worded this in, in Glamour. The odds are good, but the goods are odd. So with only 26% of the workforce being female, that means for every one lady, there are three men, right? So your odds are pretty good. However, if you think about the types of guys that you're attracting, there are some downsides. Because of all of those wonderful benefits, a lot of these guys never had to do things for themselves. They might not have to grocery shop. They might not have to prep food for themselves. They never had to do their laundry. So they can be a little bit emotionally and independently immature. If you're okay with that, they're typically some of the most brilliant and kind guys that you'll meet. Secret number four is sexism is real. Specifically in tech, it can get as bad as the ad execs that you see on Mad Men. The Glamour article does cite um, a little bit more crude cases and cases of actual physical 
harassment, and it's important to know that that happens. But the fifth secret is that women are doing something about that harassment and about the gender gap. There's so many female-led companies now. Um, women are banding together to support each other and to shine a light on the gap in females in technology. I would really encourage you guys to take five minutes to check out the Made with Code website. I'll link to it below and you know, see if you can change your perspective on this amazing technology that we all touch and use every single day. Hope that you liked that piece. If you did, please give us a like, give us a subscribe, maybe think about sharing us with your friends and family. We would so appreciate it. And please come back to watch some more. Talk to you soon.